guys i believe at this point you all will agree with me that kid wire is the king of diary section now i await his next diary section guys this guy kid wire gave us an awesome laugh i literally was laughing and rolling on the floor of my sitting room i was wondering what is this guy kid wire you are not having a political meeting with anybody this is not a place for you to plot all your political plots. But guys, one thing for sure is that Kidwire is a game player. He knows how to play this game. In as much as himself and Pere had an agreement that Pere should win the head of house um, challenge, guys. Do you know that Kidwire, according to him, he said that he wanted Elebaye to see that Pera was going to plot against her so she can take a turn and pour the sand inside Pera's um, seesaw. That way she, he was supposed to win. But nah, nah, Elebaye stood her ground. Now they can see that Elebaye is a woman of her word. And he said now nah, that his plan didn't work in as much as he just had to go with his second plan, letting Pere win the HOH and see what will come for him and see what he's going to gain when that happens. Kid Wire is a game player. Kid Wire diary section made me laugh. He spoke about Euro living and how that has affected his game in the house. And also he said that this, this week they are supposed to be for mercy so the house may feel like okay they are not calm they have been defeated he wants to go into mercy's um alliance and see if there is anything there for him he just kept on calling Pere my general i'm like you say what kid why you kid why what is going on kid why what is going on i think i believe he gave us a good laugh laugh today and he deserved to be the king of diary room i think he gave us a good laugh today i mean like let me know in the comment section if you really enjoyed kid wire's um diary session today that was just hilarious the way he kept on saying my 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 general i'm like who's general kid wire i you did play my general my coop my this i'm like yo who do you think you are Anywho, guys, he gave us a good laugh. I mean, I enjoyed the diary section. But another person's diary section I enjoyed was also Doyin. Doyin has so much. You guys already know that Doyin talks a lot. At this point, we all agree that Doyin talks a lot. She's a talkative. It's, it's okay to call Doyin a talkative at this point. But she makes so much sense. I love the fact that she is not falling for Kid Wire's um, manipulative ways of trying to convince the housemates not to talk to her when and also trying to knock her and Sissy's head together, which did not make sense. She also mentioned that um Kidwire went around telling people that Sissy um that she was talking to Sissy not to talk to Cross or something like that. And she also mentioned that Cross is one person that she likes in the house, that she thinks that she genuinely thinks He's been himself 100 and he's playful he's sweet and maybe not for the women part but he just she just feels like he is sweet and he cannot she cannot do that when it comes to cross then she also mentioned that kid wire did a terrible job yesterday when it came to the party me or party of life aquafina tax right when he said very mean words to cross and apparently cross stated that everything he said was a lie guys we also have that turned out at the end of the day he now gave doing the badge we did which didn't make sense at the point i don't know what he was trying to prove but cross apparently is very angry with kid wire for trying to change everything that happened at ibiza that it seemed like he just wanted to chill with the big boys that was why he called that everything kid wire said is a force that there was no bitch scenario as kid wire previously stated during the party me party of life tax that also there was nobody they beat up during the 
the the clubs club um, period that Kidwire spoke about so that he did not just understand why Kidwire would want to play him dirty like that bring him down or sabotage him just to please Doye that didn't make sense and also we saw that that didn't make sense he did not just sabotage Doye he also sabotaged his friend uh, Tolani Bad because at the same time Tolani Bad is his guy like why don't you, why didn't you just pick one of your guys and say something nice to the person and also cross is angry that he was just an escape goat in this matter just because they hung out just once at ibiza and he happened to be at ibiza cross happened to be at ibiza and it's just it just didn't sit where we cross and also donye said that she felt like she was played and and Kid Wire did not just feel any form of remorse for what he did. Not like after everything, he came to tell her, oh, sorry for what happened, after, knowing that she was angry. But she's just going to play along. I mean, it's a game. So she's going to play along with um, Kid Wire and make him feel the way he wants to feel. But deep down, she's going to play that game deep down whenever she needs to take kid wire down she will take kid wire down knowing fully well that kid wire is also playing a dirty game in this house and she mentioned that kid wire is one of the housemates playing the most dirtiest game in the house and the, the worst part is that the housemates they can see through him and they know what he's trying to do so now him coming to say that he's definitely going to be on mercy ak side just to penetrate that alliance and see know what is happening there so he can know what his general and the rest of the alliance they are going to do towards that guys i don't know if this is going to work or if it will backfire just like the last time guys i already told you that during that video i told you guys is it going to work or it will backfire but it backfired because the planning the coping was just too much they were just planning way to um plotting too much it was too much and i think they all needed that workshop to bring them back together which kid why i agreed that that workshop kind of brought them together to forget about the the plotting not like necessarily the plotting everybody i mean it's a game you have to remember every damn thing that is happening in the house you don't need to forget but you you, you can as well pretend and look and make it look like you've gone past that just to make every other person feel okay but let's just see how this um kid wire's plan is going to go let me know in the comment section what you think about kid wire and his plotting because you know, today was just funny to watch kid wire during his diary section guys did you really enjoy kid wire's diary section i did is this plot going to work i'm not sure but i really enjoyed his diary section donya's own was just long donya had so much to say she said for one reason why she did not trust kid wire is that she's not refreshing in any way that she knows she's the weapon fashion against the housemates. That she knows nobody likes her in the house because she says what she wants to say and she's very outspoken and she keeps she'll keep being herself as long as she stays in the house, guys. It was just hilarious to see how the housemates they feel, you know. But at this point, I don't know. Let me know on the comment section what you think. If you haven't subscribed, share, like, what are you waiting for? Hit on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post on this channel. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.